Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Uh, so yesterday, I heavily alluded, <laughs> heavily alluded to um, something that was going on, and today I'm just here to tell you, um, because I've, I've dropped enough hints, and also this morning I just revealed it. Um, for breakfast stream this morning, I wore this shirt. <laughs> And I have I have deliberately not worn this shirt in forever because I didn't want to give anyone like false hope. So even though it's out of my closet, I'm like, nope, you can't wear that. You cannot wear that. If you wear it on breakfast stream, that's bad. If you wear it on a vlog and someone's like, oh, you wore the shirt, that's a hint. I was like, nope, can't even possibly give a hint that's not there. So I just haven't worn it. But today I did because I could finally talk about it. So I dropped a bunch of hints and then by the end of breakfast stream I basically revealed that Sunday there will be another episode of Fallout 4. And this is a big deal. Um, and I talked about it yesterday about the fact that I have been working very hard to try and position myself to have nothing else to deal with except that. And I did. And um, it, it's it's a really good feeling. Um, the the last episode of Fallout, and we talked about it, I think last month, I released it on April Fool's Day. And internally, I was like, this was good. I'm glad that I did this, but I'd really like to have one out next month. Sunday is the last day of May, so it is at the buzzer, but I'm doing it. I'm going to have another episode of Fallout out in, in, in May. And um, that's that's such a big thing. It it's it's hard to explain. Um, I'm very happy that I I've made it this far. <laughs> and um, you know, whenever I made the last vlog talking about Fallout in, in April, you know, I was close to the end. But now I'm really close to the end. And I don't know when the end end is coming. I mean, that's certainly going to take a great deal of effort. But we're close, and I feel pretty great about it. Now, as we get closer to the end, and of course, once we have finished the series for real, I'll have a lot of thoughts to talk about, kind of as a retrospective for someone who worked on a project uh, for a long time. But um, right now, in this moment, I'm closer to the finish line than ever, and I am ecstatic over the entire thing. It feels so good to, to have come this far and then also to feel confident enough with where the current work situation is that I'm like, I think I can like start tackling this. I don't know when, so I, I don't, you know, I, I can't give a date on like, oh, the, the finale is coming this month, you know, or, or next month or like, I can't do that because I'm not that close. But I'm closer than I've ever been, and I'm happy about that. I, I've talked at length in the past about how this is this whole project has really felt like a, a, a boulder tied around my neck, and um, you know it's I don't regret doing it, and I've loved what I've done. But it is so hard to have it almost completed and not completed that uh, it's it just it's very meaningful to have worked on it yesterday and you know and also today and being like oh my god there's an episode like i scheduled it it's scheduled it's coming out sunday night it's coming out at 6 p.m eastern on sunday night it's scheduled it's ready to come out and i'm like it's exciting it's really exciting anyway that's not like the only thing going on in my life there's also pizza i know we had pizza yesterday but this is different this uh this is a pizza that we made um, we got one of those, uh, they're like a mixed crust. It's all the dry ingredients. It's the, all the, it's all the dry ingredients for a crust and then you mix it. Actually, there's another one in there. Watch out, Campy. If you want to grab it, it's back. I yeah, you know where this is? Perfect. Here you go. It's this thing. Uh, Martha White. So the president's white. That's Mar Martha Washington. Martha Washington, that's right. Her first president, George White. 
Martha White uh, pizza crust. Just add oil, oil and water. Anyway, they so... They work all right. Have we had those before? Yeah. I used them for taco pizza. Oh, okay. Well, that's in there right now. We also had bought some uh, mozzarella cheese, like the big thick kind that you've fresh. cut. The fresh kind for the, the medallions. And then also um, Roma tomatoes. So we're making a margarita pizza tonight, which is good. Um, homemade pizza is always... I say always should taste better than frozen pizza and uh you know i'm hopeful that it'll taste better than the one we had yesterday i liked that one i yeah, i did we've had better i mean yeah pizzas. Yes. it was it was interesting though i i liked the fact that it was a different combination than i've had before it was just sausage peppers and onions and it was a little weird yeah but would i eat it again yeah i think i think i would those medallions melted yeah, they did. Dang. It looked a lot nicer before we cooked it. Yeah, it really did. It was pretty. <laughs> but, and then uh, they, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's gonna taste the same, but... Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Now, I just looked at the last clip. Yeah? And we never showed us, like, trying that pizza. Oh. We showed the pizza. Well, we're gonna make another one tomorrow. Are we... Oh, wait, are we really? Well, how good was that tomato? Because there's another tomato. Oh, yeah, See? shoot. Yeah. How many cheese medallions we got left? Another pack. Oh my god. So we're gonna eat I that- I got enough to make two. So we're gonna eat that pizza again tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. It was a good pizza. Um, real, I mean, super, super freaking basic. There is crust, there is basil, there is cheese, there is tomato. That's it. Oh, and salt. And salt. You have to, you have to put a little salt on the margarita pizza. Very little. It's not a lot, There's but you have to- There's a lot of salt in the cheese. Very recently on a breakfast stream, I, you know, made the case for salt. And a lot of people were like, Shh, that's a lot of salt that you're putting on that Kraft Mac and Cheese. But it's, you know, it's not indicative of a problem. But I did grow up in a household that we valued salt. We like to put salt on stuff. Um, and I've always really liked salty foods. And, you know, compared to most people, do I oversalt food? Maybe a little the craft dinner was probably an extreme case, but in the case of margarita pizza, you you do have to you put some put some salt on it. And it was nice. It was good. So I'm actually looking forward to the fact we're doing that tomorrow. That'll be good, man. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, we <laughs> skipped the meal, went back to work, got some stuff done, and now um, we're just having a little snack at the end of the the day. These little pudding packs. Um, when we went to Costco the other day, you get like a <laughs> thirty six of them. They're so cheap. Bless you, Costco. Because um, Mao had picked up a, a pack randomly near the beginning of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And um, she'd left one in the fridge. And I was like, can I have one of these? She's like, yeah, sure. And I was like, oh, my God, these taste like childhood. And I love them. And it had been so long since I had one that we, when we saw them at Costco, I was like, I'm going to get these. And will I get burnt out long before we get to 36? Maybe. But they're also good for like two years. So I'll probably go through like some phases before I get through all of them. And that's fine. For now, it's nice to have a little cup of pudding. I ate these a lot when I was a kid. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we?